good evening. I'm Uchidechi Adriano Afonso. I'm here in the Humble Dojo in Cumberlandia. And today we're going to speak a little bit about uh, a very old uh, Taijutsu uh, discipline, which is Kumi Uchi. Kumi Uchi is considered the uh, most antique uh, discipline of Taijutsu and is very related to the Bujutsu uh, disciplines. Uh, kumi Uchi, for, as the word we can understand, Kumi comes from Kumo, which is to enter, and Uchi comes from hitting. So, by the definition of this word, we can translate it as uh, entering with our body, hitting uh, the op uh, opponent. Uh, so, uh, but as we can see, the uh, best word to, to, to referring to this uh, type of discipline in Taijutsu is the Yoroi Kumiuchi. Yoroi, uh, which means the armor. So, uh, this comes to our mind that Yoroi uh, Kumiuchi is re related to battle, the warfare. So, this was a, disi this was a subject of discipline uh, used in battlefields. As many researches uh, done in this in this time in the Sengoku Jidai time in Japan, the warfare time in Japan, they saw that it, it was very common for the Kenshi uh, to wear the Yoroi. So they 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 saw that and they analyzed that forms that were to hit a person, uh, a Kenshi in one hit would not uh, take him out of the battle because he was wearing yoroi. So they realized that it was better to enter closely to this person so he could, he could be near this person so he, he could uh, use uh, his uh, daisho. Uh, for, for this, uh, they refer to yoroi kumichi. As we can see, uh, Yoroi Kumichi is, is divided in two main lines, which is Hokakuden and Shukakuden. Hokakuden refers to refers to the uh, the forms which uh, the Kenshi lost his Daisho or his, his Katana or his Wakizashi in battle, and were forced to use his hand, his bare hand. And Shokakuden, this show comes from Daisho, which uh, is referred to uh, the type, the for, uh, forms in which uh, the Kenshi would use his sword, his uh, katana, his wakizashi, his santo. So we will try to understand a little bit about how to act uh, in the main axis of the kid's body so we can have an advantage on him, so we can unstable him and therefore we can have an advantage on uh, on the movement on this situation we will see that uh, please finish. we will see that uh, when the ok tries to draw we will enter and we will have uh, uh, we will have a Opposite forces done on this on this main uh, in the center. His force pushing me backwards, and my fo my force uh, move that trying to uh, push him uh, to the other side. So we will see that when we have this, when we have this, we will have two triangles. The triangle. Uh, the Uke's triangle and my triangle and we will see that acting in this triangle would make me uh, will leave me uh, or will uh, give me an advantage on his movement so we will see that trying to move upwards and downwards and backwards and up and, and front, we can unstable him. We will see two forms. 
the form in which we push him downwards, which would be like this. And the form in which he, he draws the sword. And move him backwards. So his triangular form does not exist anymore. And his and his uh, main main axis, the back the back is bended. So we can have an advantage uh, in the movement. So we can uh, so we can. Uh, so we can have a disadvantage and penalize with this situation uh, in the battlefield. So thank you very much and good evening.